Georgia Maloney is largely untested. In the 2018 election, she only got 4.5% of the vote, and she's just skyrocketed in popularity. What we do know, though, in the two regions where her party rules, we've seen clampdowns on abortion rights. We've seen a lot of anti-LGBTQ rhetoric. And so there's a lot of concern that her conservatism on the far right is going to affect uh, groups that are... that that you know, are largely unsupported in this country anyway. She's also anchored by coalition members, the Donald Trump-loving Matteo Salvini, who is unapologetically a, a Trump protege, and also Silvio Berlusconi, you may remember his name, three-time prime minister of this country, sort of a political caricature. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about the next prime minister of Italy, Georgia Maloney. Now, she has been described by many in the mainstream media over here in the U.S. and other parts of the Western world as the next Mussolini, um, a Trump supporter, tinfoil hat wearer, racist, bigoted, homophobe, transphobe, whatever kind of anti Name, I mean, anti everything, anti anything the left loves, they have laid at her feet, basically saying that she is a bad person, a bad candidate, shouldn't be the prime minister. And there is a specific reason. Well, actually, there's quite a few reasons why they're saying that about her, not just because of any kind of Trump connection, not because she's simply labeled as far right. Not just that. Now, I'm going to play a video here to get into some detail. It is in Italian, so if you don't speak Italian, I mean, you got to watch the subtitles. And I'll pause it at certain points to give my two cents on it. If you want to see it without my commentary, the link, as always, will be in the description box below. Let's go ahead and put it up here. The caption just says, the new prime minister of Italy. Wow. Let's check it out. Potrei farne tante altre di queste domande. <clears throat> A monte c'è quella che ci facciamo oggi, perché la famiglia è un nemico? Perché la famiglia fa così paura? C'è una risposta unica per tutte queste domande. Perché ci definisce, perché è la nostra identità. Perché tutto quello che ci definisce in questo tempo è un nemico. Per chi vorrebbe che non avessimo più un'identità e che, fossero, che fossimo solamente... So let's, let's pause it at a certain point, because again, it is in Italian, and if you're not watching it intently, you might not be to understand what's going on if you don't speak Italian. But... She's saying that they, whoever they may be, we know who they are. She's saying that they think the family is the enemy. And the question is, why is the family an enemy? It's because it gives Italians a sense of identity. It tells them who they are. But to have an identity as an Italian, that's somehow a wrong thing. So you're getting into nationalism. And that is something that a lot of them whoever they may be, and again, we know who they are, they don't like that, right? Schiavi, consumatori perfetti. E allora è sotto attacco l'identità nazionale, è sotto attacco l'identità religiosa, è sotto attacco l'identità di genere, è sotto attacco l'identità familiare. Non devo potermi definire italiana, cristiana, donna, madre, no. Io devo essere cittadino X, genere X, genitore 1, genitore 2, devo essere un numero. Perché quando sarò solamente un numero, quando non avrò più un'identità, quando non avrò più radici, beh, allora sarò lo schiavo perfetto in balia mm. della grande speculazione finanziaria. Il consumatore per... That right there was beautiful. So to recap, what she's saying is, when you have no identity as an Italian, a Christian, a mother, father, husband, wife, whatever it is, when you have no identity as that and you're just gender X, gender Y, person one, person two... They could just make you a number. You have no identity. You're just a cog in the machine. And you're a perfect consumer slave for the, the bankers, the big bankers. See, now we're getting deep. Now we're getting deep. And again, they, whoever they are, and we know who they are, they don't like that at all. Because now you kind of peek behind the curtain a little bit. You, you get a little bit too close to the reality of what's going on. So we can't have that, right? Perfect. E questa è la ragione per la quale questa è la ragione per la quale oggi noi facciamo tanta paura. Questa è la ragione per la quale oggi questo appuntamento fa tanta paura. Perché noi non vogliamo essere dei numeri, noi siamo qui per dire che noi non siamo dei numeri, noi difenderemo il valore della persona umana, di ogni singola persona umana, perché ognuno di noi ha un codice genetico unico e irripetibile. 
e questo piaccia o no ha del sacro. Lo difenderemo, difenderemo Dio, la patria e la famiglia che fanno tanto schifo a qualcuno. Lo faremo per difendere la nostra libertà perché noi non saremo mai schiavi e semplici consumatori in balia della speculazione finanziaria. Ecco la nostra missione, ecco perché oggi sono venuta qui. Scriveva Chesterton ormai più di un secolo fa, vediamo se, lo, se ve lo trovo, fuochi verranno attizzati per dimostrare che 2 più 2 fa 4, spade verranno sguainate per dimostrare che le foglie sono verdi in estate. Quel tempo è arrivato, signori, siamo pronti. Grazie. And the crowd goes wild. The crowd goes wild. That right there was amazing. Totally amazing. And this is the reason, let me come back so you can see me clearly. This is the reason why Georgia Maloney is going to be the next prime minister of Italy. I believe she already won. It's just a matter of becoming inaugurated, whatever the process is over in Italy, she will be the next prime minister. And this was fantastic. I loved it. This is why the mainstream media don't like her. That's why they want to call her Mussolini and a dangerous person, dictator, whatever they want to say. Any kind of negative name they want to create in their minds, they want to throw at her feet and label her as that because of the things that she says that they don't want to have. You see, they are on the side of making you be just a number, making you be nameless, faceless, down to just, you know, real, real basic things without a true identity. This is probably part of some of this LGBTQ stuff. Now, I'm not talking about just people that are gay. That's not even, that's like normies. If you're just a gay person, you're a normie. <laughs> you, right, that's, I mean, I'm talking about the agenda that is being pushed upon our children, being pushed in the workplace, K through 12, everywhere. And it's to the point where it's, it's so extreme that it, it, it senses, it, it, it seeks to strip you of any kind of identity you may have. It seeks to strip you of any kind of ambition, any kind of thing you think makes sense for yourself to advance and go forward in life. They want to take that from you. You want to be a man to have a family and kids and all that kind of good stuff. Well, no, nah, we don't really want that. We want you to not know who you are, to be confused about who you are, your, your gender. We want you to be 12 years old and be on peer blockers, home run blockers to the point where you have no real identity. You're not actually a woman, so you can't really be that. And since you were on all these drugs and mutilated your body at a young age, you can't really be a male either. You know what you can be? A consumer. You know what you can do? Whatever we tell you to do. I, I mean, I see that for what it is, and they, but they want to shield it in this whole thing about, oh, if you're against all the stuff that's going on, all the confusion, all the ridiculousness, all the woke stuff, then you are a homophobe, then you are a transphobe, then you are somebody who hates immigrants, you hate illegal. Listen, I know what's going on that is destroying the country, destroying the world for that matter. I know what's happening. I don't want more of that to continue. I want it to stop because if it doesn't stop, that's going to be very harmful to all of us, not just in Italy or the U S or UK, et cetera, but everywhere. And before I wrap it up, I'm going to say one more thing. I think one of the biggest reasons that Georgia Maloney may have been polling low and is now polling much higher is because people are just starting to wake up and see what's going on. All right. It's like you don't really understand how a thing can go bad until it happens to you. You, you hear about it on the news, you see it and you, man, that's terrible that that happened. That'll never be me. That won't happen to me. But then when you see your own life getting affected, it's like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's pump the brakes. What's going on here? You see your own life getting affected. You don't like what's going on. You want to go in a different direction. I think that's what's happening here with Italy. And shout out to them. Kudos to them. And shout out to Georgia Maloney. We need more people like you. You know, we need we need more Georgia Maloney's. We move, we need more Trumps. People that are coming in and not just be a cog in the machine. Your man Joe Biden, the cog in the machine. He has pretty much two feet in. He doesn't know where he is, who he is, or what's going on. Talking about things that happened in the 1930s and 40s, which is dementia. You understand what I'm saying? He is just an empty suit that is being led 
like, you know, Geppetto. He's a puppet being led by others in the background. But then when you have true leaders that want the best for their people and the best for their world, that's not really a good thing because it flies in the face of those that want to be behind the scenes pulling the strings. They want puppets. They don't want actual leaders. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about what's going on here with Italy's new prime minister, Georgia Maloney? Would you vote for her? Do you appreciate what she said? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I stand. I think that was a very good speech from her. And again, if you want to see that in full, link will be in the description. Please share it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We need this message to get out, not just in Italy, but all over the world. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.